Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to another Real Madrid review. My world, where do we begin? How do we do this? Um, Real Madrid nil, Barcelona four at the Bernabeu, and that is embarrassing. That is dreadful. That is absolutely horrendous of a 90 minute football game. And the two halves were very different. But the first 45 minutes was pure frustration. It was the game dictated by Barcelona. It was Real Madrid trying to figure out a way and the way to score yes it was Real Madrid having more of the opportunities and chances but Barcelona the game plan the way they play if you watched how they played against Bayern Munich frustrating Bayern Munich and then they've got it again and if you are Mbappe, if you are Vinicius, if you are Bellingham, as a football player, if you are caught offside once or twice, fine. But eight, eight offsides for Mbappe, if I'm not wrong. That is an embarrassing stat to have. I mean, look, you can't be offside eight times. Out of 12, we were caught offside 12 times in 90 minutes. Okay, that is about an average of around six and a half minutes. I want to say around that time range. Um, or is it? I mean, I can't even you know um, count anymore, but uh, I think it's slightly longer than that. I think it might be seven and a half minutes actually. But look. 90 minutes, 12 times offside, 8 of them going to Mbappe. And it's just embarrassing. Barcelona played such a high line that anyone, whether you are a professional or an amateur, if you know the basics of what offside means, you would know don't run so fast. Don't run. Don't make that run until you know you're not going to be offside, you're not going to be caught in that line. And Mbappe, you look at all the offsides he has had, they were so clear, it wasn't even marginal. It was broad daylight, it was unbelievable. And the, frustration, the frustrations of Real Madrid fans is justified because it was frustrating. When you see Mbappe make that run, you're thinking, don't run, we can see it. He's looking at it, he's looking at, you know, the defenders, and he's still running, he's still going, and he's still getting caught offside. And, of course, the only player um, on the pitch that wasn't performing wasn't just him, it wasn't just Mbappe. I take away from this game, and I would say, Kamavinga, he could probably leave thinking, I had a decent game, and maybe Bellingham, maybe Bellingham, and even that's a stretch. Um, and the rest of the players, Mbappe caught offside too many times, Vinicius just was unable to play his usual game, Tromene just looked lethargic, he just didn't look energised, Valverde as well didn't look like his usual self. The back four. I was very disappointed with Mendy, um, made some really, really poor decisions. When you get the ball, Mendy, where, what he likes to do is he gets the ball on the left side and then he tries to do that fancy, oh, I'm going to turn back to go, I'm going to turn back to that direction and he gets caught in possession most of the time. Rudiger and Militao were awful. They were not seen. I mean, that first goal, what were they doing? That second goal, what was 
Woody gonna do it? That third go, what would it do it? But the fourth go, the fourth go that Rafinha scored, it is a long true ball forward. Militao, get across, clear the ball away. Rafinha takes a touch and he gets away from everyone. He tuned a 1v1 after one touch. That tells you that the center halves had awful games. Look at Vasquez, look. You give him the praise, like against Dortmund, but when it comes to such games, he is not the right back solution for the long term. He just isn't. And that was a horrendous performance from him. Especially again, for that um, fourth goal, he just got played by Rafinha as well. Rafinha cooked everyone in the defense for the last goal. And when Rafinha, you know, chips it, uh, lifts it over the keeper, Lucas Vasquez stops, and then if he didn't stop, maybe he would have gotten back in time to clear the way. But he stopped. And that was the mentality. During the game, another problem was the mentality. When you lose the ball, you have to go back, and if that means you have to make a crunching, career-ending tackle, you do it. That is something in the blood from the likes of Casemiro, Ramos, Pepe, Marcelo, Carvajal, you know, these players know what it means. You have to do that, you have to go there, and if you have to take the player man down, you have to, you know, give away a foul, a red card, a yellow card, whatever, you do it for the team, you take one for the team. But what we saw was, oh, we lost the ball again, fine, I will walk back. I will hope that he helps clear for me what I, the mess I've created. I hope he can, you know, help me out. There was no mentality. The mindset wasn't there. It was, you make a mistake, I think that someone else will help me clear my mistake. So I'm just going to walk back. I'm just going to look at what's going to happen. There was no fight um, from anyone. Apart from maybe Kamavinga, and Bellingham, he did do his best, but attacking wise, the offensive game, he didn't offer anything, and that was the truth, that is the painful truth. First of all, um, you know, obviously, um, we have to, you know, give credit to the opponents, and look, Barcelona are our biggest rivals, they are a side that no Real Madrid fans would like but put away the bias and the hate and you know things like that they deserved the 4-0 win they should have probably even won 6 or 7-0 to be honest um, you know Lewandowski had a couple of misses as well but he had a great game I mean Lewandowski the two goals the first goal what was Mandy doing we have to talk about that. He plays him on. Lewandowski is true in a 1v1. What was Rudy Gary Militao doing playing that high line? And then Mendy is not even in sync. He's like, oh, we're doing this. And then the moment he's caught, Lewandowski doesn't even have to go in the box. He's outside the box. He takes the shot. It's a 1v1. He beats Lunin. It's a good finish, right? You have to give credit. The second goal. Literally, about a minute later from the first goal, how is Balde being allowed to put that cross in? I'm sorry, Bellingham, but you are the man blocking. And where's Lucas Vasquez in this? Where's Lucas Vasquez in that? But the cross gets sent in, and Lewandowski gets a free header against Rudiger, against Militao. He gets a free header, and he scores. And then the third goal. Lamine Yamal gets through again. He's free. There's no one there defending. He's close to not even a tight angle. It's a good angle. It's a reasonable angle to shoot. He goes on his weaker right foot. And you know what? You know what? He doesn't even have to worry because that was really the way the day was going to go. It was one of those days. 
every shot was gonna go in, really. And you have to look at Lunin there. He crumbles. Before the shot is taken, he's already looking like to the fall. He's not making himself big, he's making himself small. Yeah. And then the third, uh, the fourth goal, sorry. Like I said, Lucas Vasquez gets bullied. Um, and yeah, the defense just wasn't there to pick out Rafinha. And Lucas Vasquez just decided to watch Rafinha lift it over Lunin. It was embarrassing, there was no backbone, there wasn't the mentality, the mindset from the players, and you need that. And I expect even Vinicius and Bappe to have that mentality, but I'm looking at Lucas Vasquez, Rudiger, you know, Mandy. These are players who have been at the club for years. I mean, Mandy has been here for five years, Lucas Vasquez has been here for about a decade now. These players have to have the mentality, and they didn't. They did not have the mentality, and you get punished. And are you punished rightfully? Yes. So fair play to Barcelona, six points clear in the table. A week break now, the players will get two days break. Um, they will not be training for two days. Um, it will be an embarrassment after such a result. And you've got Valencia away at the Mestalla next week which is going to be a very, very important game. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Um, hit the like button instead, subscribe to the channel on already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!